Hi everyone, just a quick video on engine thermostats, uh, what they are, what they do and how to test them. So, an engine thermostat sits at the exit of the engine. So initially the heat is taken from the cylinders in the coolant and it's passed out to the radiator. When it's cold in the morning, a the thermostat will be sat between the engine and the radiator and it will remain closed. In that way, it can heat up the engine quicker and it's more efficient and less damage is done. Once it gets to between 85 and 95 degrees, depending on what the engine is, uh, the thermostat will open and that will allow coolant to go to the radiator to be cooled and then back into the engine to maintain ideal running temperature. These are only about 15 pounds, but the problem with them is because of the conditions they live in inside coolant, they do rust and sometimes they do seize up. Normally speaking, they'll seize up in the closed position as this one is here, uh, and therefore coolant will not be allowed to get past to the radiator and you risk the chance of your engine overheating and therefore getting cylinder head uh, warpage and cylinder head damage. So, I'm just going to quickly test it because it's worth changing these frequently and checking them if you're going to go into that part of the engine anyway. So, this middle section here is held up by a wax pellet. The wax pellet melts, it's a purely mechanical system and this uh, will be, this will drop down and I'll allow coolant through the middle of this thermostat on towards the radiator. Um, so, I'm going to try and show you on this uh, video here uh, how you can see it operating. So, I'll boil this uh, thermostat kettle and all I'm going to do is put this thermostat into that hole there and turn the boiling water back on and then hopefully what you'll see is this middle section drop down uh, if it's seized obviously it will stay shut and you throw it in the bin but if you see this middle section drop down uh, obviously it will allow the coolant then to to come back up so I'm going to pop it in there hopefully what we're looking for is the middle section to drop down um, so you can see daylight between the middle and the outer part of that thermostat housing so Obviously the water's boiling, um, so just bear with me a moment while it comes back up to temperature and we should see daylight between there. Um, so here we go. As I say, anything between 85 and 95 degrees is a normal thermostat opening temperature if you are going to test it. Hopefully you can start to see some daylight just appear in between uh, those two sections there as the middle bit is dropping down and obviously if I allow this water to boil a little bit more you will see some of that water passing up through it so there we go so the middle section has dropped down so this one's not particular this one's not seized it is operating in that condition it would allow coolant through to the radiator uh, so it's quite a big gap there on this particular one all I'm going to do because it's extremely hot is take that out and I'm going to place it into this cold water and hopefully you see that middle section now you can see the daylight through there hopefully you see the daylight and I'm going to place it on there and hopefully what you'll see is it begin to close up and that middle section will come back up and return and close off so that's how to test the thermostat well worth doing it, it could save yourself thousands uh, in builds if your head gasket goes because your thermostat's, thermostat is seized I'm just going to do one more for you here so I'll place that one in there and again just see if that middle section drops down hopefully it will it does look in good condition this one i think it's a fairly new one we shall see obviously there's no movement the problems with the thermostat and that middle section starting to drop now i can see um cool up between water sorry in this case between the, the sections of the thermostat housing so, so yeah you can see daylight through there hopefully and again i'll pop it in there and hopefully you can see it rise up and shut that's a quick way of testing your thermostat hope that makes sense see you on the next one